Hey y'all, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shooting Privy Partisan 55 grain soft points out of the 223 Remington. And here's the box for that Privy Partisan 55 grain soft point in 223 Remington. Privy Partisan doesn't really put much information on their boxes. There's really no promo information for this particular load. There is no velocity data anywhere on the box. You can find that on their website. But anyways, it is a budget ammo. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the ammo itself. It comes in a pretty nice blue plastic holder. And for the cost, the brass is actually very nice looking. This is definitely a budget load, but because of that, I'm even more intrigued to see how it performs. And there is your ammo right there, little 55 grain soft point. Let's shoot it and see how it does. And the test rifle today is my CZ527 carbine. It's got an 18 or 18 and a half inch barrel. I don't exactly recall. Chambered in 223, of course. Up top, I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 3 to 9 by 40 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my leather cartridge pouch cuffs which incidentally perfectly holds a CZ527 magazine coincidentally enough so it works for that as well. Check out my website masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one and coming around to the other side I've got to show you I've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we're down here at the blocks after shooting that Privy Partisan 55 grain soft point out of the 223, and we did capture all three bullets. And not only that, we got remarkably consistent, ex well, penetration, almost said expansion, but it does look like we got consistent expansion as well. And so we've got one bullet there and then two right there. There's one deep down right there, if you can see it. Penetration-wise, we got, they are all just right there at about 13 inches. I'm going to give all three of them 13 inches. Very consistent. And then coming on back to the front part of that first block, we did get some wound cavity that opened up. Starting at about, starting pretty shallow, about the one inch mark, opened up, blew up, starts to taper off at about the five inch mark. So it looks like we got some pretty rapid expansion and then they just kept on going and it looks like they held together for the most part. It'll be interesting to yank these out and weigh them and see how much we have left. And let's take a look at the velocities for that Privy Partisan 55 grain soft point out of the 223. It looks like we got a duplicate velocity. Our high was 3,065 feet per second, our low, was 29.82 and our average was 30.33. And here are those 55 grain soft point privy partisan bullets as recovered from the gel. Let's talk about weight retention. We saw 45, 46, and 50 grains respectively for an average of 47 grains retained weight. And that works out to 85% weight retention. I am very surprised by that. These things were going pretty darn fast. And for just a cup and core 55 grain soft point bullet to retain this kind of weight, very surprising. And then onto expansion, as you can see, it was very uniform across all three bullets and around the circumference of each bullet. We saw 0.51 inches, 0.51 inches, and 0.52 inches for an average of 0.51 inches expanded diameter. And that works out to 2.3x expansion. So very surprising there as well that it held together and held that expansion the way that it did. Now onto velocity. Our high velocity was 3,065 feet per second. Our low was 2,982 for an average of 3,033 versus the factory build velocity of 3,240 feet per second. So we did come in 207 feet per second slow on average versus the factory build. No doubt they were using a 24 inch test barrel. My CZ has an 18 inch barrel, but I think that's very appropriate. Most people shooting the 223 these days are doing it from a 16 or 18 inch barrel. Those long barreled varmint guns, yeah, they're out there, but they're not nearly as prevalent. So I think this is good real world data. 
And then on to penetration, we saw 13 inches exactly across the board for all three bullets. I'm very pleased with that for what these bullets are. I didn't expect this kind of performance at all from this load. And then on to kinetic energy with a 55 grain bullet going on average 3,033 feet per second. That works out to 1,123 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. All right, time for final thoughts on that Privy Partisan 55 grain soft point 223 load. Y'all, this is a budget ammo. This stuff is cheap and it actually performed really good. So this stuff, it's not marketed as really a varmint ammo. It's not really marketed as a deer ammo. It's just sort of a cheap target ammo from what I can tell, but it performed really well. Weight retention wise, 85% weight retention, which is very surprising considering we had an average velocity of over 3000 feet per second. These things are hitting fast and somehow holding together, even though they're just little cup and core, you know, lead and copper bullets. From what I understand, I don't think they're bonded. They're kind of acting like it, though. I'm surprised they didn't break up a bit more than they did. And then expansion wise, really, really good. 2.3x expansion. They made some nice little mushrooms. And we already mentioned velocity, but I'll go over it again. They did come in 207 feet per second slower than the factory rated velocity. No surprise there. I'm using an 18 inch barrel, which I think is appropriate. Most people shooting 223 these days are doing it from a 16 or 18 inch barrel. Yes, there are 24 inch barrel varmint rigs out there. Most people are not shooting those, so I think this is good data. And then penetration wise, extremely consistent. 13 inches for all three bullets, 13 inch average. That's pretty good. What would I use this load for? I think it would, you know, if it shot well out of my gun, if it was accurate, this could be a great coyote load, something like that, or anything, really. Prairie dog, woodchuck, if you're not concerned with an exit hole, because this stuff is going to go through probably, this could be right up your alley, especially if your gun shoots it well and you're on a budget. The stuff is affordable when you can find it. And then kinetic energy wise with a 55 grain bullet going 3,033 feet per second at the muzzle, you're looking at 1,123 foot pounds of kinetic energy. Most of the 223 loads I've tested that are deer oriented, which is my main focus, they come in at about 1,200 foot pounds of energy. This is a little bit less than that, but not a whole ton less. If you or anybody you know has used this ammo, let me and everybody else know how it did for you. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me, how can you be a part of this and help support the channel? Well, I got to work and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there.